Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm starting this video on the day I'm not even working on the bug, but I'm feeling the urge right now to get something done and uh, I don't want to get all greasy because I'm not wearing my garage clothes and uh, yeah, so we're making a to-do list. There's a lot of things I need to do to the bug before this transmission goes in, but also I'm going to start the video without even mentioning this already. I just cut the transmission. The guy who built the transmission actually drove um, to Vegas today, so he decided to drop it off. Look, look at this thing, guys. He did all the brakes for me too. I can literally just put my drums on, um, put gear in it, and put it in. But there's other stuff I gotta do to my bug. His transmission's ready though. But he put everything in here brand new for me. New shoes, he did the little grind down thing that VW people do, that way it stops from the squared um, rubbing. Uh, he put everything in here, he's painted everything gold, it's just his signature, he does it so that way it's easy to tell if there's a leak because something's obviously black. Whereas if you have something painted black, it's kinda harder to tell where the leak is. So that's his signature thing. Um, for those of you who are actually uh, VW enthusiasts who are watching this video, I did a freeway flyer transmission. I got um, 3.88 ring and pinion, and I did the overdrive fourth, which is like a 412 gear. Also got super diff, so I am completely stoked. This thing is beautiful, and I cannot wait to put it in. But I'm gonna go ahead and start this to do list because there's a lot to do to this bug. This is an extra piece of vinyl I have for making stickers. It'll make for a, for a perfect to do list. First things first, gear, oil. Number two is a pressure plate, pressure plate spacer thing. Um, I'll show you guys in a second what I'm talking about. Number three is oil lines. I need to get all new oil lines for my oil cooler and I keep forgetting I have to do that. This is the piece I was mentioning. It's a little spacer in the um, actual pressure plate. The problem is that this throw up bearing I have is actually not that long so the way this is designed this thing's so small that the side of my throw up bearing keeps hitting here because my throw up bearing pushes this all the way in and then there's no more I have my clutch cable like all the way tightened down the problem is there's supposed to be a spacer he said about this big I bought this transom CB performance and they didn't do it right that's a sucks but these were actually hitting on the sides of my flywheel right here as you can see and what would happen is this would break off and then Gotta pull my whole motor because my throw up bearing. Yeah, so far for the to do list, I got the gear oil, um, pressure plate thing, oil lines, flexi throttle line, um, tighten the nose cone first, then the transmission brakes. That's something I never knew. Um, e brake, I gotta fix it, tighten the axle boot before oil. Alright, continuing the video where I just got this transmission, um, it's a few days later. It's actually the weekend now. So we got a good Saturday, we got a bunch of time, and um, hopefully we'll get a lot done today. I plan on going to the bug store right now. I'm bringing all these oil lines with me because I hopefully might go to the hose store and get new hoses for this. If not, I might just run the same hoses for now. Um, but then once we get that, uh, I gotta go get this spacer plate. It would be super ideal, and my major goal would be to get the car running this weekend, but that seems kind of unpractical since it's already Saturday and I haven't even started yet. I'll be able to get at least the trans up into the car today and then p possibly work on getting the motor and everything plugged in tomorrow. That'd be ideal. <laughs> Leaving the bug shop now that I typically go to, um, for some reason the guy was being like an asshole today, but he didn't have the part. Um, so heading to another speed shop. I've never been to this one, but I've got word from the guy who built my transmission this is the one to go to. It's a little bit farther, but we're going to go check it out. I called the guy, he said that he has a bunch of these pieces I need. He's just going to give me one, so shout out to him. Got the piece for my pressure plate I needed. Um, he hooked it up, I got it for free. I'm stoked. We got everything except for motor oil now. Look at the difference in this. That's the one I have all worn down. Look how thick that one is. <laughs> Huge difference. All right, so now gear oil, check, pressure plate, done, oil lines, done, flexi throttle line, no more. But I talked to everybody um, in the Volkswagen scene, including the guy that built my transmission and the guys at the store. They said that there's no reasons why I shouldn't be running these lines with hose clamps. There's not enough oil pressure where I need AN and steel braided lines all the way just to my oil uh, cooler down there. They say it's just unnecessary and super expensive. And I kind of agree now hearing it and understanding that like oil pressure on a bug is like 15 to 20 PSI uh, usually. 
and uh, it really doesn't need nothing crazy like that. So I'm going to go back to my old fittings, which is going to save me a ton of money. We're just going to get right into it. We're going to get started. First things first, what I'm probably going to do is um, mount the oil cooler, get all that situation, get it put up in there, and then I can put the trans in. Then before I put the trans in, I'll mess with this, but so we're going to get started. This is what building a car by yourself looks like. When you have no one from the inside to hold a bolt, you have to get that bolt like really tight around duct tape and duct tape it in so you can at least get some threads on it and then later on come and tighten it. I don't know how I just did this, but I just put in the whole trans and I didn't record a goddamn. I had my camera set up right here and I thought I was recording the whole time and I was off. But I just got my trans in. Got everything in. I just gotta go through and set everything now. Crank down every bolt and uh, hopefully get everything lines up pretty good. Currently I'm going through and tightening all these bolts right here, basically my suspension bolts. Uh, after that I need to hook on my e-brake, I need to fix it from inside on my handle because it broke a while ago. Fix that, hook on my e-brakes through here, um, that connects to this, uh, then finally tighten my boots up, put gear oil in, do my brakes, and then come over here and change this on the pressure plate. After that that's all I can do today. I just got my e-brake hooked up, this thing's always a pain in the ass, it's way back here. Um, I didn't really film it. I'm going to show you guys on the next one. Um, it's always a pain in the ass to do. So I'll try to just show you the best I can. E-brake. We go ahead. First thing first, slide it in. You come over here and you hook this to here. I find a, screw, a flathead screwdriver is easier. But I also used some nanos pliers last time. You have to pry this spring and washer away from your cable, like so. Make sure this thing's facing with the nut down. So that direction. Get ready, put it on there. Put it on the edges. Spread it open. Oh, fuck, see? I'm not even joking. It's been 30 minutes since I last filmed the last clip. And I just now got this in. I mean, I miss working on the moped compared to working on this fucking thing. Just to remove this e-brake, to slide this thing out right here, it goes in sideways, it has two little C-clips that hold on each side. It took at least 40 minutes to slide that thing out. Everything was unbolted, just to slide it out. I busted my knuckle, my knuckle's all purple and swollen. I got the e-brake button back in. Um, I'm waiting to put that on until I adjust my e-brake. That literally took forever, I'm so irritated right now. I'm gonna put the oil in, in this thing again. Shout out the 350Z days. A quick, quick, quick tip for um, any VW guys out there. If you guys are missing the drain um, plug tool, it's a giant Allen key, I'm not sure what size. You can also use your motor mount bolt. It's a 17 millimeter and it fits it perfectly. So you grab one nut, grab another nut, lock them together on here. It's right in there. There goes my drain plug. And now we're gonna go ahead and put some oil in it. Brake line's all hooked in, I got the horseshoe mount in. Um, just getting this all tightened up now. And I'm about to bleed them. All right, it's time to go ahead and throw these drums on. I have a whole extra set of brake stuff now, which is sick, because uh, when he did my trance, he put new brakes and everything on for me too. All right, and for the last thing, I'm gonna do this pressure plate, um, weird lock, clutch, majigger, thingy majigger. Uh, I just put my flywheel lock on. That holds it from when the flywheel's spinning, so now I can actually access these bolts 
and break them loose without the flywheel spinning on me. All right, so that's what the pressure plate looks like on the inside. I just took it off. There's my clutch. It's about to fall. Holy shit. My clutch, I just took this one off and it literally just spirals right out. So now I'm gonna take the time. It's probably gonna take forever and I'm just gonna do this real quick. So I just got these swapped out. I'll have to show you the um, difference when I flip it over. But I wanna show you how this thing works. It's so sick. I've never seen this before, but it's called um, a spiral lock. And when you set it in there, the pressure plate goes here or whatever. And this like literally just, you spin it on and it goes on each one of these. And you just keep spinning it. Look at that, like that's so like convenient. Like what a tool that is. I've never seen anything like that before. I don't know why, maybe it, it's more common than I think, but to me that's pretty sick. Gotta make sure you use this like clutch lineup tool because otherwise your clutch won't be lined up and then when you go to put in your uh, your motor, it's gonna hit here and your clutch is gonna be all aligned. It's like the worst thing ever. So always use this, get that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and torque all these around now. Well, when I said it wasn't my day, I wasn't joking. I just snapped a bolt inside there. That's how today's going. Oh my gosh. But everything else went together. I got everything else done. I need to bleed my brakes and I need to tighten my e-brake. Um, need to pick up a new starter, clean the motor, and then time to put the motor in. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.